A single bubble in the air is always a sphere. But if they touch each other, they can save material for both of them by sharing a common wall. And so they do. If they can save surface area by taking advantage of their environment, they will. So when you've got just one bubble, the sphere is the most efficient shape. But as we add more bubbles, we see the geometry changing. So in this case, we've got four bubbles, and you can see them meeting at a point. But put a shape in the middle, we don't get a spherical bubble. We get, in fact, a little tetrahedron. With four faces, they're not exactly flat, they're parts of spheres. But each time, the, the bubbles are trying to find the most efficient shape for the arrangement of bubbles. So now we've got six bubbles, we've got a little cube appearing in the middle. This is nature's laws at work. The universe is always trying to find the most efficient solution it can. And as we pop them, the bubbles change, finding the most efficient, until we're left with a sphere again. It has no choice. <laughs> but what's most remarkable is that those solutions are so often neat geometric shapes. Wow, that's a dodecahedron, that's fantastic. And they're mm -hmm. almost perfect pentagons, aren't they? That's they really are. surprising, they're not bulging really very much at that's all. Right. That's right, that's right. So 12 bubbles around make 12 faces, and the most economical shape that they can make, the lowest energy, is the dodecahedron in the middle. Yeah. 